Welcome to the Zimmerman Podcast with your host, CEO, wedding professional, educator, and mom, Jessica Zimmerman. This is a brand new Zimmerman Podcast mini-series, Sleeping with a Stranger Under the Cover. In the next few weeks leading up to the release of my memoir, Sleeping with a Stranger, we'll be taking a look under the cover as I share insider information about the story and process behind my memoir, Sleeping with a Stranger, which releases May 7th, 2020. I'm sitting down with Rachel, who will be interviewing me about the deeply personal and never before shared details of my journey through living and writing Sleeping with a Stranger. So let's do this. Let's go under the cover. Okay, Rachel, here we are. This is our final episode of Under the Cover. We made it. We made it and the crowd goes wild. They're so sick of us. (laughs) (laughs) We have finished. Okay, so today's the day, guys. When we started this series, I mean, gosh, it was back in February. um, And we didn't, this just seemed like so far away. You know what I mean? This day. And so uh, it's just crazy that it's here. You can go to jessicazimmerman.com. You can go wherever books are sold and you can get Sleeping with a Stranger. So uh, Amazon, Barnes and Noble, you know, wherever, go and grab it. Hardcover, paperback, um, ebook, audio. I just am so excited for this to be, you know, out into the world finally. It's pretty crazy. It's kind of not to circle back to where you came from, but it's kind of like a wedding where you plan and plan and plan and you know that it's coming, but it doesn't really feel like it's happening. You know, you're kind of just planning it. And then one day, like it's the day and today is that day. Yes, it totally, totally is. And it does. It does feel like that in a lot of ways. It's just, you know, there's this waiting and this um, this anticipation and then it's here and now it's just time to celebrate. You know, we are still in the quarantine a little bit here. So um, I won't be, you know, going to a restaurant with friends and, you know, splitting a bottle of champagne, but may, but soon, hopefully that's very soon and right around the corner because, man, I do think that, you know, I'm one, I don't know about you, Rachel, but I'm one who I get done with something and it's really easy for me to just move to the next thing. And I really kind of want to make an effort to sit with this for a second and just enjoy being done with this and celebrate it a little bit, you know? I do know. Can you make like a list of things that you want to do? Maybe once everything opens back up, but also now while we're still in quarantine of things that you want to do to slow yourself down so that you can really celebrate? Yeah. I think the main thing I want is just to not start working on something else for a little bit. Like give myself, you know, I definitely would love to go out to dinner with like Brian and, uh, you know, a few close friends or something. But other than that, I mean, I'm, I'm good. I don't need like some big book party or something like that. I just, I want to acknowledge the work and the completion of the work. And then I would love to just honor that by not diving right into something else. Cause I always do that. I just go, okay, that's like check, you know Mm -hmm. what I mean? And I just want to sit in it for a little bit and be, um, and just enjoy it and be really present in the moment. I love that. So I know that you love traveling. Are you going to plan a celebratory trip once everything opens back up? Because you had canceled a trip so that you could work on the book this past winter. And obviously you're not traveling right now um, because no one is. So where do you think is your like, you know, bucket list place to go travel once you're able to, to celebrate? Oh gosh, that is a great question. Well, the book's going to have to sell. (laughs) (laughs) I basically put, um, you know, all travel uh, funds um, and every fund into the book. Um, So it's going to need to sell to, you know, to get back there. But um, gosh, the second I'm able to, I would love, gosh, I don't know. I would love to go to Brian and I've talked about going to Bora Bora. My best friend, Lindsay, and I've talked about going to Turks and Caicos. I would really love to go to Bali, you know, somewhere tropical and, you know, but also has things to do. And I don't know. That's why Bali always sounds so fun for me because there's, you know, there's some adventure and culture and, um, but you still have that beautiful sunshine and beach and everything. And so, um, I don't know. I really don't know. I'm, I'm excited about, there are some opportunities. Nothing is confirmed yet, so I can't really talk about it yet, but there's, 
uh, some opportunities to travel a little bit for the book, you know, here in the U.S. to um, do a few little promotion things. And I'm excited about that. And of course, we will share that first and foremost with our newsletter. So if you go to jessicazimmerman.com, make sure you get on the newsletter list so that you can be the first to know about those things. But I know we've been asked a lot about a book tour and I just don't know. I don't want to plan anything until all of this is kind of past us um, as far as the quarantine. And we know everyone's you know, healthy and safe to get out. And so I think, you know, I think over the next year, we'll still be talking about it um, and still be uh, promoting it here and there. Um, So I'm just, I I don't have anything planned after this at all. So that is the first time in a decade of owning this business that I can say that. If you love Zimmerman Podcast and you end each episode thinking, gosh, I just need more of this in my life, boy, have I got the thing for you. I just got back from recording the audiobook for Sleeping with a Stranger, and something about recording the book out loud made me both excited and terrified. It is by far the most exposed I'd ever felt, but for a listener, it's the most personal way to take in the story. As a special treat, I'm releasing my audiobook seven days early on May 1st. And if you buy the audiobook in the month of May and email your receipt to Kelly at jessicazimmerman.com, that's K-E-L-L-I-E at jessicazimmerman.com, you will be given a backstage pass to an online Sleeping with a Stranger special event with me and special guest Brian Zimmerman. He's kind of the leading man in the story. So set a reminder for May 1st and buy the audiobook and email us your receipt to claim your backstage pass. Go to sleepingwithastranger.com to snag the audiobook on May 1st. I hope that it is just a wonderful chance to look at everything you've built and feel so proud and know that you don't have to do anything any day to be proud of yourself and to, you know, have the same value that you have on the days when you do all of the work. It's it's so exciting. Yeah. I'm just excited for you to have that break. Mm, thank you. I appreciate it. And thank you for everything you've done and all of your help. Rachel was so crucial. I mean, it wouldn't it wouldn't be what it is without Rachel. And so I'm just really, really grateful for you and for just all of your, you know, input and advice and just being also a listening ear when I was needing to chat through some of the hard stuff, the some of the content matter in this book and also for just being part of this series and talking it out, you know, week after week and even an additional like seven weeks that we didn't think we were gonna have to do. <laughs> but um so I just appreciate it and I'm I'm excited to see, you know, what happens from here. Well, thank you. I'm so excited about the book launch and I still can't believe that it's a it's real. Like that today's the day. I mean, it's just, it is, I'm so excited for you. And it was such a, I mean, relatively short as far as books are concerned journey, but it was still, I mean, it was like a sprint that lasted for six months. (laughs) Yes. And it was, it was six months ago that you and I were sitting in a hotel room with a blank Google doc. We both had computers on our laps and I would type and type and type and then I would send it to you and say, there's chapter one. And you would, you know, look at it and and you would know how to say things, some things better and you're so much better at grammar than I am. And um, but that was six months ago. It's pretty crazy. I was looking at an old picture of one of my kids this morning and in my phone was a picture of the wall. Oh my goodness. There was a wall in the hotel room and I switched hotel rooms halfway through. And do you remember this, Jess? I had covered the wall in sticky notes Yeah, yeah, yeah. of the timeline and like different locations just so I could keep track of everything. Cause the first day you kind of just downloaded the whole story to me and then I was kind of plotting it out so I could make sure that we hit like the major plot points. And then we moved rooms and I had taken the sticky notes off of the wall and like piled them in all these intricate piles. And 
the sticky notes got left in the first room and I like hurried back and I ran back and the person who was cleaning it was leaving it or maybe she was in the hallway or something and and the sticky notes were lost for good but I did have the picture of it so I I tried to recreate it in my mind by like zooming in on this tiny oh picture. Oh my gosh <laughs> that is hilarious. I remember that. Yeah. I totally remember that. But it's just it just shows that you know with good people and hard work and commitment that, you know, that was six months ago, which seems like a long time, but also it's, it went by, you know, and at six months we went from blank computer screens to there is a book that is out there that people can go buy today. I hope that you do. And I hope that, I hope that it speaks to you in some way or that you enjoy it or that you relate to it or whatever, whatever. I just hope that you read it, that you try it out. So today's the day sleeping with a stranger. You can go to jessicazimmerman.com. You can go wherever books are sold. And like I said, go to jessicazimmerman.com to get on the newsletter list so that you can be the first to know about any book tours or promotions that we do or um, book signings, those kind of things. So that's it. Yes. Read this book. It's amazing. I'm so excited. Thank you guys. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Zimmerman Podcast miniseries, Sleeping with a Stranger Under the Cover. Don't forget, you can get book updates and VIP treatment at sleepingwithastranger.com. The book will be available May 7th. I'll see you next time.